Today, I'm going to show you how to program the AI step in ManyChat to answer questions about the new Zero Down Mortgage Program just released by one of the nation's largest wholesale lenders. And it's going to be extra cool because we're going to program this thing to not only answer questions, but if somebody decides they want to speak to a human, it's going to go ahead and connect them right to you. Let's get started. So the first thing we're going to do is go ahead and just open up this new automation and we're going to start from scratch. I'm going to choose the first step to be an AI step. And here you can see I've got a goal and a script and a context box. So all these areas right here is where the magic happens. So let's go ahead and put the goal in here. The goal is that you are the new Zero Down Mortgage Program FAQ AI Assistant and you answer questions about the new program in a friendly tone. Now the first thing we want to do is go ahead and ask for the user's name. We're going to save that user reply in first name. It's, it's a custom user field. I've already got a custom user field created. So we're just going to put it right there. Ask for the user's name, save it. Now the next part of the script is going to be answer questions. And right out of the box, I think I'm just going to go ahead and leave this right here as it is. The next part of the script, I'm just going to use a task. We're going to choose a custom field to save that in and I'm going to use speak to human. I've already got that created. If I didn't have it created, I would just put user field plus right here. So that's pretty much my goal, my script, answer questions, and then ask if the user would like to speak to a human. Now the next thing is this context. This is where we're going to train the AI step about our business. Now I've already created a context. So I'm just going to go ahead and paste it in there. And basically all I did was copy and paste the information from United Wholesale's information about this program. And I kind of added some things in here saying, hey, don't answer questions about improving credit scores. And also said that you must answer all the user's questions until they indicate that they want to speak to a human. So I'm just going to go ahead and save this. So now I've got my AI step already all programmed up and ready to go. The next step we want to do is go ahead and start that live chat or book an appointment conversation. So after we've answered all their questions and they said, yes, I want to talk to a human, the next step, we just go ahead and activate that by hovering over this next step button, clicking and dragging. And now we're going to go ahead and drop a messenger here. We're going to make this a text block right here. And it's going to say, thank you for engaging with our assistant. So let me see here. I'm just going to go ahead and copy that text I've got already printed up right there. So let's go ahead and put a smiley face in there just for a little bit of uh, personality. And I'm going to say thank you for engaging. Connect with us via Messenger. All right, so we're going to add a button by clicking right here. Let's go ahead and say we're going to speak to a human. And let's add another button while well, here. Let's click done, click add a button. And this one's going to open a website because this button is going to say book an appointment. It's going to open up my website where I've got my calendar widget. So now I'm going to go ahead and say, there we go. Web view size is native. This is all looking good. Click done. So that opens up my website. And this is speak to a human. So now when somebody clicks this speak to a human button, we want to go ahead and set up the question node because when they're going to speak to a human, they're going to ask you a question. So let's click in the button on this circle, click and drag and go over to messenger again. But this time we want a user input block, not a text block. Text blocks tell something and have buttons, user input blocks have questions. So now we can store that data in a field. So we're going to get rid of this text block and just have a question. So we're going to say something like, hey, and then we're going to put the personalization in there by clicking curly brackets. 
Hey, first name, thanks for reaching out to my live chat. Let me know how I can help you and I'll get back to you ASAP. Now we want to set proper expectations. I don't want to be tied to my phone all day and night answering questions. So I'm just going to hit this and paste this in here. If it's after normal business hours, I may respond the next day, right? So this reply type is going to be text. You can see edit user input. I'm going to make sure this says text and I'm going to save this to zero down program question. It's a user field I've already created. If I didn't have it created, I would just hit plus user field right here. But for now, all I gotta do to select it is go ahead and click it, and there it is. So now, that reply type is gonna be saved right here in this custom field, and I'm good to go with that, right? Yeah, so we've got the book appointment set up, and we've got the speak to a human set up. And let's see, one more thing I wanna do maybe just for some fun, is put an image in here. Now you could put your logo in here, some other information, your phone number, you know, whatever you want. But I'm gonna go ahead and just throw this uh, cool AI image that I created in just for fun. Now I shrank this down with tinypng.com so that it's reduced in size so that it doesn't have a long load time. That's important. So I use tinypng for that. So right there is the uh, loan officer chilling out. Hey, thanks for reaching out to my live chat. All right. Now the next step, when somebody replies, I'm gonna have an action. So I'm gonna click this yellow node button right here, click and drag to an action block, hit plus actions, and then plus action over here in the menu. Now the first thing I wanna do is notify myself. That's in the live chat menu right here, notify assign ease, there we go. So I'm gonna say, full name just asked this in door zero down. Now I can hit these curly brackets and because I saved that as zero down question, there it is, zero down question. So now what will happen is, is when I get my notifications, it'll say, Tim just asked a question about this and here it is, right? So that is kind of cool. Now I'm going to notify myself via email, telegram, and SMS or text because that's cool. All right, now I've got my notification in there. Let's go ahead and add a tag. So we're gonna hit that plus action. Add a tag is right here in my recently used. If it wasn't, let's see, where would it be? It's in the live chat maybe? Contact data. So it's in contact data right here, add tag. Let's go ahead and create that tag. It's gonna be zero down question. I've already got it created so it highlights right there. If I didn't have it created, I could hit plus tag. There we go. So I'm tagging the conversation as somebody who asked zero down question, which is cool because it helps me keep track of all the different bots I've got and all the different prospects I generate. Because you can create one of these bots for all sorts of different things. And later on down the line, you're gonna to wanna to know where that person came from. So let's click action block again. And now we wanna go ahead and do a couple of other things to make it easy to find when we get notified. So what I wanna do is mark that conversation as open. So in the live chat menu right here, I can mark the conversation as open. And I'm also going to do another action, which is gonna be notify, assign conversation. Because I want that conversation to come right to me. I don't want it to sit kind of in an unassigned status. I want the conversation as open and assigned to me because that makes it easy to find in the ManyChat app on my phone so that I'm not fumbling around looking through different menus going, you know, I just got a notification, where's that person? So that it's in an open conversation, assigned to me, and there we go. So let's see, is there anything else? No, those are the four actions I wanna do. Now, after they've asked the question, I wanna reply to them. So I'm gonna click next step, drag over and hit messenger. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and reply back to them. So right here in the text block, I'm going to paste in. Tim is being sent a notification. This looks good. I think we're okay. Now, just so you know, when I went to uh, create this, I didn't tell you this in the first step, but you've got to choose in your AI step what channel you want this to work on. So I had to hit Facebook and also 
now you need to create a trigger so what you got to do is come into this block and hit new trigger and you can choose any one of these triggers to trigger off your bot i like to use the referral link when i'm testing this so simply by clicking this what happens is is a link is created so that now i can test this so if i click this boom now i've got a link i can use i already did that off camera sorry but uh, the reality is is all it did was create this link right here and now I can copy this to the clipboard and put it in a button on my website or put it in an email and say click this or whatever I want to do or I can put it in a post I can put it in a YouTube video you get the idea so check this out we're gonna go ahead and click update so everything is live and this trigger is on right I can turn the trigger on and off right here make sure everything is saved and now I can go test this so I'm gonna just click this link it's going to open up in messenger and you can see i've tested this before but hey it's now it's going to just go it says hey what's my name so now i'm going to say you know i'm tim great what questions do you have about the zero down program what kind of credit score do i need right and here it is chat gpt is giving me answers based on what it was programmed with in our context box this is so cool right so it's pointing out the high points of the program and now i can ask another question and there it is spitting out more facts about the program this is awesome let's ask another question here this is getting fun it says great question here's how it works so basically there's a three percent of the purchase price up to 15 grand there's no monthly payment requirement and accrues no interest <laughs> that sounds great right you have the flexibility to choose and how often you make these payments okay so i'm gonna go yeah i want to talk to somebody about this so i'm just gonna say you know yes this is awesome let's talk now, because I programmed this with my phone number, email, and other business information, it provided it right here. So you can see this thing is able to give creative answers. Now, let's go ahead and speak to a human. Let's go ahead and type in a question here. looks pretty good right now even if I went back and wanted to book an appointment at this point I just click that button and there it is takes me right to my calendar but let's go ahead and take a look at these notifications so let's check telegram first just for fun so there's many chat Tim Armstrong just asked in your zero down program this is cool I want to see how this could work for me and then I can view it in live chat right here by clicking this button there's my text message. I just asked, hey, this is cool. And I can click it in live chat right here by clicking that link. And now I've got a mini chat email. And there's my mini chat email saying, hey, I wanna see how this could work for me. View it on mini chat. So now I can pick up this chat right in mini chat on my phone. Now I've got the mini chat application on my phone. I can click live chat here on the bottom. And there's my open conversations. You can see that at the top. So all I've got to do is click it and there's the conversation. So now I can jump in there and start chatting with the prospect, answering questions and taking this conversation to the next level. So forget about generating leads that you have to call. Why not generate leads where the conversation's already started? Now there's lots of ways to get people into your messenger automation. You've already seen how it can work with a link. If you have questions, go ahead and hit me up in the comments below and definitely subscribe so that you get notified anytime I drop more content.